Good evening, VC. Dino Vinyl Times back again with my second part of my 7 inch singles update. Um, like I said in the previous one, I did have a fair few this time, um, so I thought I'd split it up. So, here we go. Here's a few more. Now, all of these were for my dad. I'm not going to lie, these are all for my dad. They weren't mine, um, they've just been given to me. And um, I have got quite a few, actually, as you can probably see up there. There are a few more just here and up in the corner there. A few more. Um, these are artists I've never heard of or don't know, so I need to kind of look through them and see if there's anything of any use. Uh, these ones up here are all um, Shadows and Cliff Richard singles that um, I maybe look at selling. So if you know anybody that's into the Shadows or Cliff Richard, um, let me know because not something I particularly want to keep. Not a fan of Cliff Richard per se, and there's only one shadow track worth having in my eyes, and that's Apache, which I already have, um, which I'll see in a minute. Um, so if you know anybody that's into the shadows or Cliff Richard, and I think there's a fair few there, so, and they're all individual, they're all in good nick. Um, yeah, just again, comments, message, whatever. Okay, anyway, back to the records I do like, because that's what we're here for. Records, mining, sab it. Okay, um, first up, um, straight in with the big hitters. Here we go. Rider White Swan by T Rex. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Dad. Thanks very much. Um, on Fly. This is like, I, can't, I don't think he's ever played it. I think he must have taken it out. Dad had this thing, he, he bought all these covers and this is my mum's handwriting because he can't write shit, but um, <laughs> he can, I'm only joking with this. Um, but yeah, these are all like absolutely mint. These stiff and cardboard ones are really good, sort of plastic lined as well, really looked after them. But yeah, really happy to get the Rider White Swan original, Bug One, the label, uh, Bug One, the cat number. Um, second, B side is uh, It's It is Love. So yeah, really happy with that. Good start. Let's carry on that good start, shall we? With um, oh yeah, some more T-Rex. Little uh, label there with the boys on the front. Um, this is Jeepster, and the B-side of Light and Life to Gas, um, 1971. Uh, again on the Fly label. Um, a little Fly on there, so slightly different to the other side. Um, just really nice sort of picture on the front on the guys. Um, Sent is still in it. Obviously, Dad played on his record player. He didn't get taken down a pub and put in a uh, jukebox or anything silly like that. Um, well done, I was happy. Happy as Larry to get those. Oh, what's this? Four T Rex, get it on. And uh, Raw Ramp, again, on fly. Um, what year is this? 1971 as well. Um, both sides, no picture this time, just. Uh, the fly logo, so again, so yeah, three first three out T Rex, um, all originals. Um, I like I said on my response to Dylan, uh, not Dylan Harrison, sorry, um, Mod so Will Mod Central thing. I really like T Rex. I really like Mark Boland. Um, but they, what they were doing at that time, I just think it was uh, slightly different. That being brave enough to start that whole. Say start the whole glam scene, but um, you know, be involved in it and be quite affluent and uh, um, courageous, really. I suppose when a lot of the stuff wasn't, people weren't doing that. So pretty cool, actually. I like the T-Rex. A lot of respect for them. Okay, so next out, um, this is George Harrison's uh, "My Sweet Lord." Um, um, uh, B-side is "What a Life," um, which is also an old Gallagher track. So I wonder if he, um, I wonder if he got uh, some inspiration from George Harrison on that one. Um, yeah, on Apple. My mother, and this must have been hers because it's got her name on it. Um, but she looks, she's looked after it. It's a pretty cool shape. Um, yeah, that old Gallagher track is AKA What a Life. Um, but um, yeah, still pretty good condition. Um, happy to have that. It's the only George Harris stuff I've got of his own. Because um, all the other stuff I've got is either with the Beatles or with the Trevor Mulberry. So. That's pretty cool. Um, next up, Terry Jack, Seasons in the Sun. I don't know how many people know this. Everybody in the UK will know this song, without a shadow of a doubt. 
Um, we had joy, we had fun, we had Tottenham on the run or something like that. <laughs> um, that's not by how it goes, but yeah, that's how I sing it. Um, but yeah, just a good song. I like that song. Um, on Bell. Um, I don't know, the B-side is put it, put the bone in. Ooh. Yeah, put the bone in. So, um, <laughs> of the B-side of Seasons in the Sun. So, I know what you got to that summer. Um, okay, next up. Uh, moving swiftly on, uh, the Beach Boys. Um, I don't. Uh, let me see which one it is. So uh, this would be side two. What is this side? Three? It's 1979 anyway, and it is full sale. And the flip side is Lady Linda um, with the original in. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Get some Beach Boys. Some Beach Boys. It's the um, only single I've ever got. So that's pretty cool. Um, Next up, um, a little bit of Dr. Hook, when you're in love with a beautiful woman. On the A side, B side is Dooley Jones on Capital. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I, I, I need to go through these, and if I've got the labels for them, I might actually start, you know, I'll have to transfer them over, because they always look good when they're in their original labels, and then I have some plastic sleeves going in as well. Pretty cool. I don't have, well, that's the only Dr. Hook stuff I've got, so, um, I keep seeing a lot of Dr. Hook, but I don't know if, if it's worth getting into or not, um, there's always a way, you know, when you've got other things you want to buy first, um, you know, um, it does worry me sometimes, I think, oh, I no, won't see that again, or I'll just take a risk on it, but, um, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Um, this next one is Johnny Keating, the theme from Zed Cars. The Zed Cars, um, people again in the UK will know the TV program about cops, um, please. Uh, my dad said this is one of the greatest songs he ever listened to. I'm not quite sure about that, Dad, but um, he said don't get rid of it whatever you do. I was like, okay, if you're good enough to give me your records, I'll do what you want me to do with them, so I ain't got to keep this one. Well, it might be worth listening to, but um, people who know Zed Cars will know the theme, and this is the theme to Zed Cars. Um, on Piccadilly Records, and the B-side is Lost, Lost Patrol. So, check it out. Um, next up, what a great song this is. Um, Peter Starstead, Where Do You Go To My Lovely? Um, that's, ignore what that says because it's a different track. Um, but yeah, Peter Starstead, Where Do You Go To My Lovely? This is probably one of my favourite songs from the 60s. I know I probably say that a lot. Um, but this is up there with the Moody Blues, uh, Nights and White Satin for me. Um, bit soppy of a song, um, but it's a really nice story of the song. Um, if you know it, you'll know what I'm on about. If not, it's just... Um, um, in the song, he just explains the life of this girl who wants to be the li wants to live the high life, and um, and she gets to do it, and she's remembering where she comes from and all the things that uh, she likes to do and what she does now. Um, it's a really interesting song. Um, even if you don't want to buy the record, just just go on to Spotify, go on to YouTube, and just put it in. Um, there's some really good videos that people have made to this that because the song was wasn't around when the people were making music videos, but. Um, really good and I always have this idea of um, doing an updated version of this song myself but um, and you'll know what I mean when you listen to the song because lots of people get referenced in it um, famous people um, so um, yeah just, just go and just go and check it out even if like I say you're not interested in it just just go and have a quick listen to it because I if you like a good song you like a good story this is this is one to check out definitely um, this is on United Artists uh, from 1969 go on check it out I dare you um, next up, uh, Art Garfunkel, um, Bright Eyes. I know why mum and dad had this one, because this was number one on the day when my sister was born. My mum and dad have a habit of buying, well they bought a lot of singles anyway, but they buy the single, the number one single, the number one album, and the newspaper from the day their kids are born. So from the brother, 77, I can't remember what was number one was single when he was born. I'll have to check that out. But this, um, Bright Eyes. Ooh. Right eyes, so I'm going to go from, from my sister, Tate Love by Soft Cell for me. So yeah, that's why I know they got that one. Which is still a good song. And if you've seen the film Watership Down, you'll know it from that. Um, next up, Slade again. Um, on Polydor. Far, far away. Okay, yesterday. So I have two copies of this. But um, I'm going to keep both of them, I think, because I think... Um, it's a, well... Not unless anybody particularly, particularly wants it, but I know it's an easy single to come across, so... Um, might be a VC hit, PCLT thing for somebody if they want to get into Slade, I might. But, um, yeah, I've got two copies of it, so... 
Okay, next up we have um, do, soft, softly, softly whispering "I love you" by the Congression. Um, I like this track. It's okay. I don't really like a lot of Congression stuff, but I like this song. Softly whispering "I love you" is pretty cool. Um, quite mellow, chilled. 1971 on Columbia. Um, B side is when Susie takes the plane. Um, it's a nice little song. Um, next up, Everly Brothers, Wake Up the Little Susie. Um, a pretty cool song. I've got some Everly Brothers stuff, um, so it's just nice to have that on 45. Can't really say much too much else about that. Um, why have I got this? Oh, I think Partridge Family, I Think I Love You, um, on Bell, uh, 1970. Um, I didn't buy it, but um, it's pretty real. Not a bad song. I just think it's... <laughs> um, I don't even know why I've got that one out. Oh, it's, this is Benny Hill, Ernie the Fastest Milkman in the West. Um, bit of a comedy single. Um, it was a hit. Benny Hill was a TV comedian and he made this song in um, Ernie the Fastest. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a joke single from 1971. But if you kind of a British thing, you'll know it if you're Brit. Again, a nice thing, but uh, check it out. Why not? Um, Glenn Campbell, single, 45. Um, it's only it's only Make Believe and Page Away Into Tomorrow at the Capitol. Um, yeah, happy with that. And next up, a uh, bit of Mike Oldfield on uh, on Virgin, obviously, remember this Virgin. I don't know if people know, he was the first guy to sign the Virgin. Probably people do know that, but um, yeah. Mike Oldfield, um, Moonlight Shadow. Pretty cool song. Um, I didn't think my mum and dad were into Mike Oldfield that much, but um, uh, they were. I had two, uh, two albums given to them, I just didn't think it was their cup of tea, but obviously is. Um, this is. What is this? This is uh, this is Child. Stay with me. I don't know too much about that. They might have just snuck into the. Not sure about pile. Might put that one just up there for a minute. Make sure I check that one out. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, what we got here? What we got here? Mrs. Mrs. Thursday. Dave D. Beaky Mickey Titch. Dave Dozy Beaky Mickey Titch. I should say. I always get that wrong. And last night in Soho on Fontana. We like Dave Dozy. If you know you watch my uh, watch my channel regularly, you'll know why we like Dave Dozy. Did you make into it? Um, I'll try and get through these a bit quicker. Um, Loving Things by The Marmalade and Hey Joe. Um, I don't know if that's a, I don't think that's a copy of Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. I don't know. I've not listened to it. But it's on CBS. Um, Loving Things probably not, but cool. Um. It's the Scouses, it's the Scouses, it's Jenny and the Peacemakers, Freddy Plus and Maisie. So uh, it's a top boss tune, as they say up north, in Liverpool. So uh, yeah, buzzing. Sorry about that bad accent there. Um, okay, the move. Fire Brigade. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool song. I like that, I like that one. Um, some more Slade coming up. So this is on Polydor again. Um, Dumb, good breed to Jane. Oh, goodbye to Jane. Sorry. That's, I think they spell it the way the Brummies would say it. Because I know there's a few Brummies on the uh, on the BC. So um, sorry if that's uh, not how you. Goodbye. Love a cup of tea. Goodbye to Jane. Because they were from Birmingham. Coming out with all the accents tonight. Anyway, yeah, people. Um. Again, uh, the Weathermen, why I should fight. It's the old, same old thing. Don't really know too much about that. That's going to go in the checkout thingy pile up there. I thought I'd gone through these and must have got last slipped in. Um, this is the Shadows I was talking about earlier on, Apache. Um, that is a quality song. Uh, instrumental song, anyway. Um, yeah, just, just brilliant. On Columbia, um, I want to keep hold of this one. Um, Quartermaster Stores from B-Side. Um, 
really, really talking about instrumentals, there's um, a great instrumental from Apache, and then one of the greatest, uh, uh, one of the other greatest um, instrumentals in my eyes is Albatross by Fleetwood Mac. Um, this is on Blue Horizon. Um, my mother has kindly written her name on it, her maiden name, Diane Devine. That's not a porn star name. Alright. Um, that's my mother's name, so know what you guys are like out there. Um, yeah, Jigsaw Puzzle on the B side. Um, yeah, really happy to get this because this is like early feet with Mac and I don't own any early feet with Mac. I think I mentioned that in the previous thing, so it's nice to have some early feet with Mac. I keep seeing a Peter Green LP in my record shop down in Magpie Music and I'm so tempted to buy it, but it's just that little bit too out of my post range. My legs gone dead again. Ow, ow, ow. I'll try to keep this quick. Right. Um, next up, we have... Oh, more Fleetwood Mac, sorry. Um, this is Purple Dancer and Dragonfly. Um, this is... What year is this? What year is this? 1971. Um, so again, some fairly early Fleetwood Mac, but um, this is not... I sort of say that's all I have, not too much. Um, another friend uh, another friend of mine, I wish. They were friends of mine. Uh, the Hollies, um, I'm Alive, um, on Paraf uh, Parlophone. 45 um, from 1965, so that was pretty cool. Um, the B side is uh, You Know He Did, so that's pretty cool. Um, next up, Roxy Music, um, which is nice to have a cut of Roxy Music uh, 7 inches. This is Dance Away and Cry 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 on Polydor, um, 1979. Uh, but yeah, nice, happy with that. Um, some more Hollies, uh, Sorry Suzanne, um, get on Parlophone. Uh, 1969 this time. B side is not the way, not that way at all. Pretty cool. Um, I always get excited when I see that, and then you look right close, and it's um, Mary Hopkins. Those were the days, um, which is still a good song to their own. But when I first, you know, pick up a track and you see that, and you think, "Ooh, what could it be?" And it's like Mary Hopkins. But no, it's still a good track. And um, turn, turn, turn on there as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, more Hollies, this is Gasoline Bread, Gasoline Alley Bread, um, and Dandelion Wine, Parlophone, 1970, cool, like the Hollies, um, one of the biggest Hollies tracks, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, um, and Cause You Like To Love Me, on the B-side, Parlophone again, 1969 again, um, obviously Dad was collecting a lot of Hollies back in the 60s. Um, one of my favourite status quo tracks, Ice in the Sun. This is right next to um, Pictures of Matchstick Men for me, as far as um, status quo tracks uh, go. Ice in the Sun is great. Um, this is on Pi. Um, when was this? What year is this, does it say? Uh, 68, yes. So it's nice. A little bit of damage on the back of this one, but um, yeah. Um, pretty cool. B side was When My Mind Is Not. When my mind is not love, lies, live. When my mind is not lies. Yeah, okay, I may have pronounced that wrong, but hey. The next up, uh -huh. Mother of the King, uh, The Wonder of You, Elvis Presley on Victor, RCA, um, 1970. Only single of the Kings I've got, unfortunately, it's not a Sun record. But hey, it's still the King, so always good to have. And last but not least, um, Proxy Music, Jealous Guy, um, on Polydor, or is it? Or is it on Polydor? Yeah, on Polydor. Um, Proxy 2, um, cover of obviously Jealous Guy by John Lennon, and Turn You On is the B-side. So, and yeah, that's it. So, that's the 7-inch singles, um, the ones I will like and the ones I want. Um, like I said, up there is the ones that I need to check out still. Um, I do have some other stuff from the 80s and 90s that are kind of crappy. Um, stuff that mum and dad bought. I don't know why they bought them, but pretty crap, so I won't be showing them. But um, um, yeah, that's it really. Um, music in the background playing, if you didn't know, was um, Cat Power. Really uh, got into it just recently. Um, really liked her new album. Um, which is um, Sun, 
which is a really good album. If you haven't uh, heard of Cat Power, check her out. Excuse me, great vocalist, um, well worth a listen. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, I think that's me kind of caught up with everything record-wise. Um, I have a box of um, a box of crap stack, if you want to call it that. Um, lots of um, stuff I was given from a friend. Um, I might make a video of this, just to purely if anybody's interested in... Um, yeah. Anybody's interested in it. Jane Fonda's workout, check that out. Um, Wham, Carpenters, Judith Collins, a Wings album that's beat up the shit, um, Dionne Warwick, just loads of, uh, I really got excited because I thought that was um, Beatles love songs and then it was found out it was a Carpenters, uh, Perry Como, Johnny Mathis, Fan of the Opera, Boney M, Burn Offs, it's just, yeah, just stuff, and I think I'll probably end up just taking it down the charity shop, but um, people on the VC obviously get first dibs if there's anything in there you want, I'm if people are interested, I can make a video, um, and I'll show you a bit more in depth what there is, but um, it might be only uh, a collection only, because I don't know if I've got enough money to send out a whole box of records, um, but if there's anything in particular, let me know. Um, Alright, I think I've rambled on enough. Like I said, I think I'm all caught up, um, until I buy some more records, which will hopefully be soon. Um, yeah, please keep commenting, please keep subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I'm getting close to 100, so that would be pretty cool. Um, and then obviously, do the obligatory contest, which would be cool because that will be our first contest, and it would be nice to uh, get something on. I've got an idea for a contest, so um, when I hit 100, I'm not going to do sort of, you know, 99 or you know, 98 or whatever. Um, I'm going to wait until I hit 100, and then I'm going to do my contest. So, um, I feel it's about time, so just... Anybody else there who's not subscribed, please subscribe, rate and comment and just tell me if I'm talking rubbish or tell me if I'm interested in you or whatever. All good. Cheers. Good night, BC.